Hello, welcome back. So today we're going to crochet these fingerless gloves. It's the easiest fingerless gloves in the world. They are very, very easy to do. It's only a one row repeat, so it's really simple. I will go forward very slowly and explain everything I'm doing. So this is great to start with if you're a beginner. It's a very quick project. You can do this in no time at all. It's very, very easy and they are so nice to have these ones. So let's begin. So the things you need, I use this Himalaya yarn. It's a medium weight four. And you will see all the information right here. And I used a crochet hook size four millimeters and you will also need some scissors and a tapestry needle. So to begin this, we start with a slip knot. So make a loop with your yarn and take the long end of the yarn behind the loop. Then grab your yarn in the middle with your crochet hook and pull. Then we begin a chain. So yarn over and pull through the loop. Now we have one chain. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through. So this chain, this is the foundation of our work and this is the chain we will be working in from the next row. So you chain up 36 of these. Just do it in your own pace. You can pause the video and meet me up when we have 36 chains. When we have that, we are going to work in these chains. So now we will work the other way. We will begin working from the second chain. This one on the hook doesn't count as a chain. This is the first and this is the second. And we will work in single crochet. So we will be working from the second stitch from the hook. And this second chain, we will insert the needle in this second chain. Then yarn over and pull through. Now we have two loops on the needle. So we yarn over and pull through both loops. Now we have our first single crochet and we will do another single crochet. So we find the next stitch, this one down here, and we insert the needle in this next stitch. Then we yarn over and pull through and yarn over, pull through both loops on the needle. So now we have two single crochet and we will do another single crochet. So we go look for this next stitch and insert the needle in this. Then yarn over and pull through. So we have two loops on the needle, yarn over, and pull through both loops. So we have three single crochet. We will keep single crocheting for the rest of the row. So you just insert your needle in the next stitch. We have two loops, so we yarn over and pull through one of them. Then we yarn over and pull through both. So do one single crochet in each chain all the way across and start the video when you're done. When you're all the way at the end, I want to show you that this is the last stitch. This one out here, this is our slip knot and we will not be working into this. This never counts as a stitch. So you insert your needle in the last loop, in the last chain and do your final single crochet. So now we're ready to start the next row. So we do one chain to turn the work. So yarn over and pull through the loop and turn the work. And now we will be working the other way. We will still be working in single crochet, but now we will only do it from the back loop. So on top, we have these two loops. It's like a V and 
usually we will do like this. Insert the needle underneath both strands of this V. But in this case we will only be working in the back loop. So this is the front loop and this is the back loop. And when we work in the back loop, we insert our needle between these two loops. So we only grab this back loop. And still from the second stitch. So this one is our first and this is the second. So for a single crochet, we insert the needle, but only in the back loop in this case. And then grab the yarn and pull through. So we have these two loops, yarn over, and pull through both. So our first back loop single crochet. And for the next one we search for this next V on top and insert the needle in the back loop, in the loop that's furthest away from you, and grab the yarn, pull through, yarn over, pull through, two. And again, insert the needle in the next back loop, then grab the yarn and pull through, yarn over, pull through, two. Go search for the next one. Insert the needle in the back loop, grab the yarn, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. So keep doing one single crochet in the back loop of every stitch all the way across. And if you're new, I recommend that you count your stitches. If you chained up 36, you should have 35 stitches because we skipped the first one. When you are at the end of this, this row, we chain one and turn the work. So from now on, remember, you chain one every time you turn the work. So when you're done with the row, you chain one and then you turn. We will continue working in single crochet and only in the back loop. So remember this first stitch doesn't count. <laughs> yes, it counts, but, but you skip it. So you go into the second stitch. And only in the back loop. And do your single crochet just like the row before. And the next one. Insert your needle in the back loop and do your single crochet. So now you continue back loop single crochet all across. And when you're done, you chain one and turn the work and keep crocheting single crochet in the back loop until you have 32 rows. So continue the same pattern for 32 rows. When you have 32 rows, you should have 16 of these bumps. So this is every second row. And we will now sew it together. So grab your tapestry needle and attach it to the long end. And then fold it in half. And we will now sew the piece together. So we will just sew this one, this side together, and we will keep sewing for about 11 centimeters. Remember to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell if you want to be notified. I'll just adjust this like this and now we're ready. So just simply insert your needle in one and through the other and pull through.
just a couple of times in the beginning down here because this is where your hand is going in and then one stitch in every stitch so insert your needle in the first and in the, over here and again in the next stitch and the one across the next stitch and the one across So I'm now at 11 centimeters, and I will secure the yarn so I will go back and forth in the same stitches a couple of times. So just weave, weave in just through some stitches down here. And then it came out from this one so you go over this one and through the same stitches again and please do not pull this too hard just a little bit and then through the same stitches again three times then it won't get up and pull out your needle and secure sorry attach the tapestry needle on this other end and this is where your thumb will come out so we will just sew this part a bit so just the same you did before couple of times in the top and then through the stitches for about a centimeter so not much just like this and then secure the yarn as well back and forth three times and remember not to do it too tight and not all the way through pull out your needle cut the yarn and also cut the other one okay now we turn it over because this was the wrong side out and we have our fingerless glove all done so now you just make another one just like it like I did and you have these ones they are really nice and warm and the easiest ones to do in the world everyone can do it if they follow my tutorial of course if you like the tutorial, please press, please press thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I hope to see you again soon. Bye!